there's that man again. What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the Teddy Files. I am your resident sommelier, Mr. Dearest Teddy. And today, uh, like I told you guys in the beginning of the week, um, I was going to give a wearing to one of the uh, Fascinably line. And um, I went on and did that, and I want to talk to you guys about it. And that would be Fascinably Legacy. So... This fragrance right here, I had an idea of what it could possibly smell like. Now, I'm not sure if I can compare it to any other fragrances that I have. I mean, it has the DNA of, of course, a lot of your more sweeter wintertime offerings, you know, like your um, um, Stronger With You, things of that nature. But this is not exactly like Stronger With You at all. Uh, it, it's kind of within the vein of a fragrance like that. I mean, your um, fragrance notes are top notes of mandarin, orange, grapefruit, Madagascar, pepper, coriander, geranium, and cinnamon. Bring in the middle notes and bringing up the rear would be patchouli, amber, and cypriot oil. But um, this fragrance, it's not very complex. Um, once again, it's not an expensive fragrance. So, of course, you know, it smells a slight bit synthetic. But even with all of that, it is a very, very... Uh, elegant fragrance there's a lot of elegance to it it's um it's sweet but it's not so sweet to the point to where it is sickeningly sweet it's not sugary syrupy sweet it it's ambery sweet but that's balanced out a great deal a great deal by the patchouli and the coriander you catch a lot of that and you also catch a lot of the citrus at the opening the mandarin and the grapefruit play a huge part in the opening of this fragrance but you mostly, of course, as the dry down comes, you get a lot more of the amber. You get a lot more of the cinnamon. Um, it's a pretty damn good fragrance, man. It lasted about, I'd say, about a good five to six hours. So about average time. So that's not pretty. That's not too bad at all. Uh, I, I actually like the fragrance a lot. I like it a lot. I mean, of course, I do have better offerings um, on, on the shelf behind me. But it's something that I'll be getting some wares out of because it's a pretty good fragrance. And I think that it's one definitely good for the office because it's not overpowering because it also comes in a bit powdery the powder comes a little bit towards the end of the fragrance so it it, it it um it leans a little heavier into more of the patchouli and the powder as you get to the end of the fragrance but it still holds on to a, a little hint of the amber going all the way into the base of the fragrance but once again man this is a really good fragrance uh, for about 23 bucks, uh, for $23, I believe I got mine on Amazon. I believe you can also find it over on um, FragranceNet. Um, I will put a link in the description box so you guys can go check it out, pick it up for yourself. But once again, man, this is a pretty good fragrance. It's, um, it's not groundbreaking. It's not something to write home about, you know what I mean? But it is definitely something great that if you are balling on a budget, if it's uh, something that you want to wear like i said you can wear it to the office you can wear it running errands you can you know this could be worn on a date night like i said if you're balling on a budget if you're not trying to spend a lot of money some people do not want to spend a lot of money on fragrances some people do not do things like this they don't have this kind of hobby they just want to have a handful of fragrances that they can put on their dresser and just reach for them when they have that need to or have that want to be able to go out and you know go out on the town smell good and um you know leave some sort of impression uh this will definitely get the job done for you like i said it's not anything crazy but for someone who doesn't wear fragrances or someone who is not a fragrance enthusiast this will be right up your alley this is it's 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 a safe it's a safe wear um like i said especially for this time of year once you get into the, the fall and winter seasons you want something that has a little bit of, a little bit more heft to it a little bit more density to it this one right here will definitely do the trick for you. And once again, for $23, you 
you cannot beat that price point for what it does for you so once again guys um this right here it's a really good fragrance i'm glad i bought it i will be wearing it in the office a few more times especially on those days that um you know because I, I i rotate through quite a few of my fragrances sometimes i'll have you know something a little bit more lighter on because once again in the office you can pretty much wear what you want it's temperature controlled things of that nature so i wear all kinds of things when i'm in office now when i'm outside especially in the cold weather i do tend to want to wear heavier things which is where this actually can come in because it's versatile you can wear it in the office because it's not overpowering, but you can also wear it outside to where it actually fits. It fits this time of year. It fits the fall and winter weather. Now, you may want to spray a little heavier as the winter comes in because, of course, once that cold weather starts to hit, you want the fragrance to kind of project a little bit. And as far as the projection goes, it's actually pretty good. Now, it's not going to project for uh, um, it's, it's not going to have this long projection you may get 45 minutes of projection out of it but it holds its sillage it holds the sillage it holds your scent bubble for like i said about four about five to six hours it's a really good fragrance and like i said for 23 dollars to get all of that out of this fragrance i would say it's a pretty good it's a good pretty good purchase and it's apart from concentration but once again you know they're not going to use um some of the Apart from the Marley oils and things of that nature, but the oils that they use in this is pretty good for what it is. Guys, don't sleep on this fragrance. Get your hands on this one. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and spray this one more time. Because I absolutely enjoy the scent DNA. The blast of orange and grapefruit at the top is, is top notch. It's top notch. I like it. It's, once again, I can talk, talk, and talk for days and days and years and years about it. I love talking about fragrances. It's kind of what I do. But guys this is a safe one if you are a sweet fragrance person but you don't want something that's overly sweet and it's going to be overpowering it's a safe buy definitely a safe buy now if you don't like it if you go to purchase it and you don't like it remember i told you it was a safe buy but it's still your choice to buy it it was it's my choice to buy it because i'm a fragrance collector i'm a content creator and i like to talk about fragrances i like to smell good i like to speak to my fellas about how to better take care of yourselves as far as be, as far as grooming as far as uh the kind, kind of clothes that you might want to put on to be comfortable to be able to go out and do things formal and also primarily talk about fragrances and this is the one that i'm talking about today this is fashionable legacy and it's a good one. Oh, wait a minute did i say fashionable i believe i'm going to stay fancy with it and keep it with the fashion labeling because that is what it looks like to me so from the House of Fascinable Legacy. Well, everybody, thanks for your time. Thank you for joining me here on the Teddy Files. I understand that you guys did not have to join me over here and watching this video, and I'm truly glad that you did. I truly appreciate you guys. And remember to hit that like button because it helps the content to grow. Make sure that you subscribe to the content. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you can get notified whenever I upload a video. Make sure you share this out with people that you know would like this kind of content because I am Mr. Dearest Teddy. I'm your resident sommelier. And you know what we don't do over here? We still don't. We don't do stink. So please, don't be a stink ass. Have a good day.